Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2. It's been a bit since I made a Kerbal Space Program 2 video, and that's because I was occupied with Kerbal Space Program 1 things, but I do intend to bring you more testing in Kerbal Space Program 2. And, you know, as somebody with early access, I should test things and make sure all the parts are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And to that end, I've decided to create this, because I haven't done much with rovers, and we should test these parts and see how they work. And it is my intention to attempt to cross the mountains to the west uh, or east. Uh, the, the tallest mountains around the KSC, whichever ones they are. Uh, we'll look outside, see the tallest mountain, and try to get across it. And that is what we're doing with this. We've got one of these rover cabins that doesn't actually fit anything properly because nothing has that shape. And uh, adapter, hitchhiker storage containers, adapter, and then a reactor because... Well, why not? We have a nuclear reactor to use. We might as well. And the Kerbal's already green, so clearly they're already irradiated. And a big dish in the back. Largely that's because I wanted to pull the center of mass a little bit further back. And it looked cool. And I guess it'll be a mobile comm station or something. I don't know. Or a death ray, something. Um, I've decided to put wheels like this. Uh, possibly the front wheel should be further forward, but uh, we'll leave it like this for now. Because, uh, well, I mean, possibly around here it could attach pretty well. I'll reconsider that if it turns out that this particular design is not good. And we'll figure that out pretty soon. Uh, I have not tested it out yet, so let's see what happens. We're starting on the runway. Okay, so let's take a look around. There's that bunch right there. That's a little bit lower. I mean, a distance has an effect. I think... We're going to go for here, and we're going to cross those. So, all right. Maybe I should have turned off the torque in the pod, just so... Uh, let, let me just do that. Because we're really testing the roverishness of this. There are no other reaction wheels involved. I don't want this to take forever, so we are going to go as quickly as possible, but we do have to be careful on the slopes and everything. Now, previously when I had driven things around the KSC in particular, suddenly things would flip out, right? Uh, in the middle of driving, suddenly there was a weird effect, but that might be for just lighter vehicles. Okay, uh, let me just slow down here. I do want to actually do this. Let's and it's just, oh, okay, well, good idea to slow down. Uh, the reactor is a little bit vulnerable. Uh-oh. We have a lack of, oh, I can't climb that. No! <laughs> No, that's too much of a slope. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. Okay. All right, that's too much of a slope for us. Oops, I was supposed to pretend that the trees are collidable. The trees are floating. They're, they're, are they all floating? I think they're all floating. Right around here. Okay, we're gonna need to take a more gentle slope up there. I should just put the big wheels on, shouldn't I? I initially put the big wheels on. But only four of them. So I thought that maybe six of these would be better. I mean, granted, the wheels are supposed to be for other planets. So, trying to deal with curb and gravity isn't great, but still. Uh, is there a way to get it more torque or something? Traction level. Oh, right, traction level. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's what we need. Uh, let's not do 100% uh, just yet. 2.5, is it symmetrized? See, I don't do cars much, or rovers, or anything, so I don't know these things. More traction, please. Okay, maybe 2.5 will be good, let's see. Feels better. Oh no, we're losing sw- no, that, that didn't matter at all. <laughs> that didn't matter at all. Okay.
Uh, maybe this way will be okay. Trying to get over there. I, I can't really tell which one is the highest peak. I mean, it's probably either that one or that one. So if we can keep just going in this direction. Without losing all speed, that'd be good. Oh, no! Oh, oh! Ah, uh, okay. Oh, now we've lost all speed. <laughs> I should put jet engines on this, but then it'll be like one of those cars that they were trying for a speed record with. I think this is the gentlest approach. Well, now we're at 20, which is sort of scary. Uh, especially where the way it's bouncing like that. Well, but I don't want to slow down now. Oh no, I slowed down. Every time I say I don't want to slow down, I slow down. The trick is when it starts getting you going down, turn like this, and then suddenly you're going up again, and it's confused. <laughs> uh, then you can get some extra speed. Oh no! Our progress! Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's wrecked. Oh, it's doing things. It's, um, uh, it's doing the turtle dance. Okay, let's try the bigger wheels, the biggest wheels. That's funny though. Um, it's actually a little bit disturbing, so let's not. Okay, so just four wheels here. But certainly more ground clearance. And actually, the impact tolerance of the wheels... Actually, the impact tolerance of the wheels doesn't seem to be coming into play here. It's 150 meters per second, but I assume... Motor max speed, though, says 14 meters per second. Hmm. This one was 42. With the reactors, we definitely have enough electric charge. This one doesn't say anything about steering range. This one says 20 degrees. So, is there no steering? Well, in that case, we'll definitely want the torque. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe we can just go straight at the mountain or something. Let's find out. It seems like steering such as it is is reversed. But uh, I don't think that's because of these things. Hang on. The um, A and D are doing opposite things. I'm sure that's not going to cause me any problems at all. Okay, here we go. Well, I guess it'll be 14 meters per second. But the main thing is that we need to get traction up the mountain. I swear I've been able to go faster with these before. I mean, in KSP2, not in any other situation. Oh, wait. Maybe it's because of bounces. Uh, I can't control myself very well. It sort of accidentally gets to faster speeds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then suddenly when you when you turn it can suddenly pick up speed in bad ways, maybe. I, mean, I think it's mainly bounces though. Okay. Slowing down is not easy. Uh oh oh, oh we turtled. Okay, yeah, and the pod's not gonna have enough torque to flip that around. Okay, we'll have to take that a little bit more carefully. See, I mean, I got to 18 just on the runway. I don't even know how I did that. It's just like every little bounce causes a great deal of acceleration. I think these wheels might not be the safest thing. I, know, I braked in order to get slower here. Oh, we, we just got knocked. That, that was similar to the kind of thing that used to happen. We, we just got knocked randomly there. Okay, well, this is sort of an introductory slope here. 
And when I turn, I get extra speed, I feel like. With these. I, I don't I didn't feel it with the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, definitely turning gives extra speed. Oh, oh no! Uh oh 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 what am I gonna do now? Can you get bow till I jump on it? Uh oh. Uh okay, well that's just lost a uh, crashing trajectory. Okay, okay. I think that was okay. Okay. Now uh, let's get the ladder up. The ladders are really heavy, these long ones. They're actually point one tons. But uh, maybe uh, with these wheels we do need the long ones. Wow, she can't even get uh, she can't even get onto that. Okay, I don't think she's gonna help the situation. Well, I guess we'll have to start again. See, while turning, it can pick up speed really fast. 30 meters per second, it's not even supposed to be able to accelerate like that. Uh, so, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and... So I'm accelerating while turning here. I wanted to see how fast I can go. This this will result in a wreck. So I'm pressing W and A at the same time. So something about the math of these wheels is weird. Uh, oh, we hit a bump. Oh no! Ah, uh, well, as expected. But yeah, I can go more than 50 meters. I thought I brought these wheels to higher speeds before. Auto traction control. Okay, brakes. We do have B for brakes, but it does that sometimes, so. Oh, and we're stuck. Okay, maybe I should just move the front wheels forward. But then maybe it'll just flip all the way around like that. Right now, the cabin is actually stopping us from flipping all the way around. Auto suspension? Well, yeah, there was the spring strength and damper strength. But I don't know if that was a good idea for this situation. That was more mainly, that was mainly for the planes, right? It's like they're not told to slow down the forward velocity when you're turning. So you end up adding net velocity instead of like slowing down the forward velocity and you know changing the you know keeping the magnitude of the vector the same just changing the direction of the vector instead of doing that they add a new velocity vector to it and keep the original vector with the same magnitude and add extra to it when you turn I'll keep it to 14 and we probably shouldn't even be going that fast when we go up the slope so the key to going up the slope is actually taking advantage of this. But they can't turn, right? It's not the wheels that turn, it's the pod that the pod's torque that actually turns us. Because these don't steer. Now when I'm not pressing W, of course it loses speed. Which one looks Okay, up there. Alright. So yeah, I'm using this trick turning in order to accelerate. I'm sure people have discovered this already. I'm probably not breaking new ground here, but this is new to me that uh, there's this trick with these wheels. Maybe it works for the other wheels too, it's just not so noticeable because they do have steering. And they also have a higher speed limit, or intended speed limit. Since these only have 14, it's more obvious we just don't get to those speeds with the other ones. Uh, this might be a peak too much. Oh no, we can't do that. Uh, 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 come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, well, this works. This works. Smash W uh, A and D. Mash, mash, mash it, mash it. Ah, come on, come on, come on. No, I can't mash. I, I didn't play enough. Console games <laughs> <laughs> to be used to mashing keys. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, um, well, we've got mace. Okay, let's not go too fast though. I can't turn very well. <laughs> Turning works great for accelerating, but not so much for uh, for actually turning. Uh oh, that's, that's probably not the way I want. It. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh no. Oh. Okay, where are we? I mean, okay. <laughs> uh, we didn't quite make it this time, but I think that's that's close enough for me for now. I'm gonna have Valentina plant a flag at the top there. Which one looks taller? I think this one looks taller. So not quite as close as I'd like. Why does it go to orbital speed when we get out, even though we're on the ground? Fizz warp. I think this is the first time I've fizz warped with a Kerbal on the ground in this game. 9 KSP 1, of course. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! There was a gap. Ah, uh, that sucks. Or maybe because of the fizz warping. Okay. Well, all right. Thwarted, thwarted my attempt to get up there. Uh, but we have discovered a few new things. So I have done my testing duties, and we will, we will try to learn new things about KSP two in future videos. Oh, what's happening? Um, well, she's... She's happy about it, anyway. I guess she floated back up to the surface of the water that she plunged into. Um, okay, well... <laughs> uh, is there a way to get out of this? Hold on. I doubt it. I mean, look at this view, it looks like she's going really fast. I seriously doubt that we can unclip ourselves and get above the terrain here. Nope. Now we see the water properly. Why, I have no idea, but we see the water properly. I mean, it's still... So, I mean, uh, the water is always underneath the ground in KSP. I mean, that's that's standard. That's been a while. That's nothing new. Maybe we can have Val circumnavigate Kerbin while swimming. That would take a while, though. Swimming under the ground. Somebody can calculate how long that would take at 4x time warp going 6 meters per second. Oh, we are under... Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to get her... Uh, maybe we can get to the water. I mean, not this water. I mean, the actual water that's supposed to exist. Maybe just the one... Uh, the stuff around the launch pads would be good enough. wonder why there's this, these uh, trees in the water here. Because this is underground, right? Why are those there? Nobody's gonna see them. They use their little tree paintbrush and put it on the wrong thing. I know, I've used a tree paintbrush in Unity too. It's handy. But you do get the trees all over the place. There was this one time that I crashed a uh, Kerbal into the water at Lathe in KSP-1 and we had to swim to the shore and it took forever. But we got the Kerbal to the shore and eventually rescued that Kerbal. But that Kerbal had not clipped through the ground <laughs> in order to uh, get to that particular water so I'm not sure that this is going to work. 
It's going to be an interesting little experiment. Is there a wall between the water that Valentina is in right now and the water that we have over here? Or will she eventually be able to go back up there? Nope. Oh. Huh? Well, I don't know. There's light there. <laughs> it's very eerie. I think our better bet is just in the open sea, though. Yeah, I think she's already passed. Okay, well, I guess this is promising. <gasps> is she is she above land now or no? She can't move forward. Okay, well let's take her uh, time warp. Okay, wait. Is she really really saved, or is she got clipped back down in? I think she's okay. Yay! All right, we have rescued. Well, she's still got a long trip to the KSC. <laughs> uh, oh, and she could clip back right down through the terrain again. Yeah, the swimming speed is like three times their running speed here. Unfortunately, Val did not bring her vehicle back. But we'll deal with that some other time. Oh, there is that moat. Okay, we have to... I don't think she wants to deal with water again for a while. Though, seems like a natural at it. But really, if we wanted to drive around Kerbin, what would be the best setup? I mean, and be able to scale these mountains. Because right now I'm relying on a uh, weird thing with A and D, uh, you know, turning in order to accelerate, in order to get up the mountains with those wheels. Uh, the other wheels did not do such a good job. Maybe just a smaller rover would be better. But then, you know, it's nice to have the the room, you know. I mean, if we're going to do a real excursion around Kerbin, uh, we might want living quarters and stuff like that. Basically a big RV. We don't have the science lab to say that we're doing science and everything. So we need the big, uh, you know, either the medium or the largest wheels for that. But they don't seem particularly well suited to climbing mountains. Of course, they are meant for space things, and it's better for Minmus if they aren't super powered on Kerbin. So there is that. But we should test them on Minmus, maybe. I, I'm, I'm not convinced that they are necessarily good for Minmus either, but that is always an interesting thing to test. Okay, well, as long as we get her back to the runway, I think it's okay. We started on the runway. That's a different sound. <laughs> okay, okay, interesting. All right, well, we got Val back safely. She's tired, and uh, yeah, we will have other tests to do. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.